video is about the banana xanthominous wilt, a bacterial disease which affects all banana cultivars. The disease can cause up to 100% loss once it attacks a plant. The video will cover identification of the disease symptoms, routes of transmission, prevention and control measures, how you identify the disease, the banana wilt is mainly characterized by the following symptoms. Leaves wilt, assuming a scorched appearance, and finally die prematurely. On cutting the pseudo stem, leaf sheaths or fruit fingers, a sticky yellow liquid oozes out. The male bud wilts and finally dries. By this time, the fruit fingers, when cut, will show brown stains in the pulp. Later on, the fruit fingers ripen prematurely and finally turn black. How is the disease transmitted? The main routes of transmission are tools, agents like insects among others, and planting materials. The disease is mainly transmitted by man through tools like knives, machetes, and holes on picking up bacteria while cutting on infected plant during routine farm activities like detrashing, desuckering, cutting leaves for home use. When the same tools are used on healthy plants, the healthy plants become infected in the process. Banana xanthominous wilt also spreads by vectors such as bees, wasps, and birds in search for nectar as they move from male buds of infected plants to healthy ones. Animals such as cows and goats will spread BXW when they browse infected plants and move on to uninfected plants. Transmission also occurs when infected plant materials are planted in the new gardens. How to prevent and control the disease? This is done through male bud removal, use of disinfectant, sterilization by fire, use of clean planting materials, cutting and destroying infected plants, and herbicide application. As seen earlier, male bud is one of the main entry points for the bacteria that cause the disease. It is important that the male bud is removed as soon as the last hand of the bunch forms. This is done using a forked stick to avoid plant-to-plant -plant infection through male bud cutting. Use clean tools which are disinfected by a bleaching agent like sodium hypochlorite, commonly known as JIC. In one cup of JIC, add nine cups of water in a container or one pot of JIC and nine pots of water and use to sterilize your tools before you move to another mat. Sterilization of tools can also be done by use of fire. This is done by passing the used tool in fire for about one minute to kill the disease-causing bacteria. Tether all browsing animals to prevent them from spreading BXW in areas where outbreaks have occurred. Use clean suckers from clean fields and if available, use tissue culture virus-free certified plants. Uproot all plants that show symptoms dig a pit in which these infected plants which are first chopped are placed. When this pit fills, cover with soil. Alternatively, uproot infected plants with their suckers and chop them to allow drying. You may also apply 10 milliliters of 2,4-D herbicide into the infected plant and leave to dry. This is safer as it involves no active movement of infected material from one place to another. In case of the disease outbreak in the field, suspend non-controlled de-leafing, de-suckering and cutting of leaves in the field for three to four months. This allows infected plants to show symptoms and helps to avoid disease spread to other areas of the plantation. During this period, cut only dried leaves while de-leafing to avoid plant sap that contains the bacteria contaminating healthy plants. While desuckering and cutting leaves, work on one mat. Sterilize the tools before you work on another mat to avoid spreading the disease. This is done by soaking a piece of cloth in the prepared disinfectant solution. 
the soaked cloth is then used to surface sterilize the tools. Above all, be vigilant and report all suspicious symptoms on banana plants to agricultural officials. In this video, we've looked at the main symptoms of banana xanthominous wilt, which are premature wilting of leaves, yellow ooze from cut pseudostem, wilting and drying of male bud, brown stains in infected fruits, premature fruit ripening, roots of transmission, which include tools, insects, birds, browsing and planting materials. We have looked at prevention and control measures which are male bud removal, use of disinfectant, sterilization by fire, use of herbicide, and uprooting and chopping of infected plants.